<laughs> I'm here. Uh, we're gonna go. Thank you so much for everyone who joined right now. Uh, I'm running the worst setup I've ever had because um, still haven't gotten the the whole thing of how to draw and paint while uh, seeing you in the camera here. I have two cameras, two webcams actually. One here that's face, of course. One up here for the paper. Uh, but this is the first time I do uh, here a live stream where I pick some kind of art and talk. So we're gonna uh, do our best. Uh, as always, let me know if there are any problems or anything like that. Oh, I actually wanted to show the chat. Just Oh. So usually I sit over there. Oh wait. Face that's why. No problem with that. <laughs> Russell, how are you from the Philippines? Uh hello, hello says hello. That's very consistent. Hello, uh, Nitesh, hi, Rajat, Harry, Harry, how are you doing? Uh, so we're going to do some inking today. Now, actually, I am not sure if the quality is deep. Um, I think it should be okay. My hair was in the, in the frame. Uh, so yeah, maybe not going to be the most educational value here necessarily. Um, but I do want to uh, just answer some questions, hang out, and show you some of my uh, work process. Uh, so just let me know if there are any major technical uh, difficulties. Thank you, you corporation. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, hey, Liz. Hey, Michelle. Uh, from Vancouver, Canada. Awesome, awesome. Thunder Wolf, good morning. Um, so let me give you a bit of a background uh, as to this, because I just came out of nowhere. Um, so far, I probably started doing three stories, like manga stories, um, and I always started, never finished any of them, unfortunately. Um, so what I'm going to do... Increase the volume just a bit. Hopefully it's better. Um, but in any case, I finally took a hold of myself and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this project. I don't need to. I'm going to do this project that is much smaller scale, um, where it's just 12 pages. Um, and I, I said to myself, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to share it. I'm just going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to start working on it. And it's an interesting kind of thing to share with you because, you know, I do know a lot of people procrastinate uh, when it comes to painting and drawing and whatnot. And I don't have that, at least not with watercolor. But with this kind of a project, I have kind of always just quit because it was a lot of work. So every story idea I had, every different idea I was trying to do, had a bunch of pages, chapters. Uh, had just a lot of work. And uh, at some point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to work for a month, two months, and I'll have one chapter to show for it for the story that has 10 chapters. So I decided to stop with that nonsense and actually do a story that's 12 pages. It's not like the most amazing story necessarily. It doesn't have tons of plot twists and, and, and tons of characters, but it is a cute story, cool story. Uh, and I'm going to share it with you here. I have uh, eight pages are done out of the um, 12. I'm, I'm close to finishing, done in terms of pencil right? It's going to be a little hard to see because it's a pencil, but I did start inking some of them, not all of them. Um, so yeah, no text, no spoilers. Uh, let's see who's in chat and then we'll continue. So, um, well, 
uh, uh, Lydia Rayev is uh, from Cheeseburger. Is it uh, a bit quiet? Yeah, it's a bit quieter than usual. Hopefully now it's a little better. Oh, very quiet. Um, actually, let me test it out. I'm just going to listen to my... Okay. Monitor for a second. I increase the volume a bit. Since the mic is farther from me. I can do this. Sorry for the noise. Um, tell me if that's better. Should be better, probably. Ah, Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you. Wasn't sure there would be a live stream. Yeah, I kind of set it up yesterday, the last moment. Still low? It's still low, that's weird. Yeah, I'll try talking into the mic. I had a feeling it's gonna be a weird setup today. Sorry about that. Because usually I do make sure to speak into it. Um, but yeah, I don't wanna be too limited with my ability to move around the paper. But yeah, okay, so I'll need to mute myself. Weird setup, um, increase the volume a bit if you uh, need to. Uh, so yeah, so let, let's go over the, the pages. Uh, I don't know if I wanna say that Lubo, Lubo, cause I don't know what it means. Uh, so I try not to say what I don't know what something means. Uh, but in any case, let me show you this. Good, yeah, sorry about, sorry about the volume. Um, so. I basically put them all in, in kind of plastic thing um, just to keep them safe. That's page one, already almost fully inked. Page two, page three. This in particular turned out really well, I think. Um, just the perspective and everything. It's been a really a big challenge to draw everything here accurately. Um, it's been a real challenge, actually. Um, and we have this one, check this out. Actually, it looks like he's reloading the magazine, so that's good. That that was another challenging one. I can turn on a light in a second, uh, if it'll make things a little better, but for now we'll stay like this. Um, yeah, Hanvi, uh, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of it here is not from imagination. A lot of it is um, playing around with three-dimensional models, uh, both for people and for cars. Uh, finding the perfect angles. Now where you actually have to do a lot of work is, so sometimes I'll have the, the car I want, right? Um, and the angle I want, and then I have to put people into it, right? So for example here, I had the interior of the car, but then I have to figure out what the people look like in it. So I'll, I'll use a bunch of tools for that, some to 3D model the people, but then I have to add clothes. Uh, there's no clothes, it's just like a mannequin thing. Uh, so at the end of the day, you have to understand perspective uh, pretty well to do this. Uh, but a lot of it is, yes, you're relying on technology. Uh, just because it's really hard for me to, to you know, draw people from any angle I want. Um, some of it was done from imagination. Usually I'll use reference photos just for some things, right? Um, maybe I'll grab a few details. So for example, this, I used a reference photo, but I really changed a bunch of things here. And because I'm experienced enough with um, cityscapes, maybe we had an issue. Uh, because I'm, um, I have enough experience with cityscapes, I knew how to approach it in a, in a very effective way, I think. So the result is good. Not perfect, but it's good. Um, and then for a lot of the cars, 3D models in different angles, and then either draw or trace um, and refine and, and change a bunch of details. So for example, there are sometimes you'll find a perfect photo, but you need a little change. So for example, I have like a car, it's a perfect car, the perfect angle, but I need a door open or I need, you know, the stuff like that that you have to kind of work around and learn how to, how to, how to do. So that's fun. Um, and here, so this is the page I'm actually most proud of and we can uh, maybe ink that one in a second. 
because like it's good it is good that the way uh, the story goes here a bit of conversation then a sharp turn of the steering wheel boom into the side thing crashing through it falling from the highway it's going to be a lot of action so for example this is another nice kind of action page um they're being chased by them and then they're turning sharply and going around them and then all of this happens with the out of the highway um so these it's funny to me these panels are the fastest to draw where it's people eyes expressions that's the fastest uh, and i can do that directly with the experience i have with drawing people and faces these are a little more complex with complex uh, 3d elements this was very complex to like getting the highway and the car crashing through it so whenever you have to be really inventive and in things that don't happen a lot in real life it's just a person standing or sitting or turning their head that's much easier as soon as it gets to this field of you know people sitting in a very specific pose doing a very specific action like reloading the uh, rifle for example it gets hard here's another one like the car uh, has crashed to the side it's on the side and this guy is smashed to this side that's on the ground basically that's very hard to do um same here like crawling from outside of it i know it's a bit hard to see but again this is the pencil um uh, but yeah i will say i think the part i'm the most proud of so far was that page i just showed you this up close this some really hell number, for example, uh, a horizontal line, for example, same top to bottom. It also shows you the crop where, where the bleed is and where it's gonna cut. I don't know why the live stream stops here on my preview, that's weird. Um, it shows you the, again, where it's gonna crop and all of that. Um, so that's good. Um, Alberto says, excellent exercise. Thank you so much. Uh, cool, so I don't think, I don't know what I missed, weird. Um, sorry, uh, Yulia, it's pr probably going to improve soon, uh, hopefully. Uh, Tanvi, do you script a manga before uh, or you make a story as you draw? No, this, because it's 12 pages, which is not a lot. Sorry, I'm going to try and talk into the mic. Because it's 12 pages, um, I figured out the whole thing in advance in small thumbnails. And then I started um, thinking about the text a bit. And I ended up just drawing the final thing eventually. Um, So yeah, um, yeah. as for publishing, I'm gonna publish this online for free. Anyone can read it, it's like my first work. So I wanted, I wanted basically for people to look at it. I wanna figure out uh, what people think because I have no idea. Like I know I've, I have so much experience with um, sharing my paintings. I don't have a lot of experience with sharing this kind of a thing. It's not just visual art, it's also a story. Um, so yeah, I, I want as many people to see this and, and uh, comment. Uh, in React so that I figure out what the feedback is and then I'll probably do another story that's not too ambitious. Now uh, let's get on see. It. I think I'll leave it uh, on for now like this. Um, yeah, so I'll probably do another story that's not super ambitious, 12, maybe 20 pages maximum um, just to work my skills. But, but actually I find to me that it's very important to just start humble because when I had an idea for a short story at first, it ended up being super long um, and, and not knowing really how long it'll take. And then I did another short story and I figured it's going to be short, ended up being 10 chapters of each being longer than this entire thing. So like 20 pages per chapter, this is 12. Um, so I figured enough with the, you know, going crazy and just let's think of a humble project, something that's actually doable, you know. Uh, I don't know why I'm so... Burned like the face. I'll just yeah, I'll leave it like that. Um, thank you, uh, Mutieta. Thank you so much. Uh, Lollipop. What's the manga? It's just a comic, comic book, but just Japanese. It has a Japanese flair. It's not fully Japanese. I'm not Japanese, obviously, but I've been influenced a lot by Japanese comics over the years. Uh, Tanvi or art? 
live streams are like an art school learn new things every time yeah definitely and i think it's cool because you get to hear from my experience someone who's doing a bunch of things in the art industry quote unquote um and i think that's more valuable sometimes than you know the the more traditional curriculum to actually see how things work um so let's actually get started with something easy i want to show you how cool it is once you add the lines usually i'll draw the lines I'll, I'll ink the lines before the details. Um, but in this particular one, I just ended up doing the details first because my ruler sucks and I wanted to get a new one. Actually, that's the reason. <laughs> that's the entire reason. Uh, so I'm going to be using, I think I used either the 0.8. Yeah, it was a I think that's good. Now, now I'm miserable at figuring out where the lines go. So let me give you an example, right? This text bubble goes over the line. So I'm so bad at figuring out where the lines go and I, I make mistakes continuously. So I'll have to be very careful here. This is just a easy one. Thing, good. that's one line. The second line is also simple. Okay. And the thing, this is what's going to turn this into a story. Okay. Now I'm taking this step very seriously as you're seeing, um, because it is important. Uh, and I'm prone to messing it up. Trust me. <laughs> it happened too many times before. Let me flip the, um, blur. And okay. So now I have to be careful. That's going to be one side. That's going to be others. Now, if I make a small mistake, it's not the end of the world because I'm going to scan this and of course make any corrections necessary. I'll also have the white gel pen, which funny enough, uh, works really well for, um, erasing. I just use it as an, as a uh, white out. Well, then, okay. So here, this is another mistake. I tend to make quite a bit. And that is, uh, you see, there are actually two squares here. So I need to split it. I know it sounds like kindergarten stuff, but trust me, I messed these up so many times just because of lack of focus. And again, it's not the end of the world. Um, I just aspire to have the fewest necessary corrections. Once I scan this, I want it to be almost done. Uh, my apologies again, if the volume varies a bit, cause I have to sometimes turn towards the page and look at what I'm doing. I have to lower my, you know. So one thing I did learn is, especially for small details, you know, you want to make your whatever creation look the best it can. But funny enough, if you're too obsessed with it, sometimes it'll you'll really mess it up um, in the in the mental side of things. It's like you can be so worried that things will turn out, you know, exactly the way you want them to when good enough is good enough. So that's one thing to take to heart. Um, I've had a few panels here. People end up reading the text and reacting to what the text makes them feel more than actually looking at every small detail you draw. It's tragic because some manga art is just out of this world. People put so much time and effort into it and, and it is a masterpiece. And for people like me, it's very fun to look at, of course, because I love um, the art in particular, but many people just gloss over it, you know, and, and, and never read it and never actually look at the details. You're just like, you want to get the story. You want to know what happened next. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's okay to, you know, to worry and, and make sure you get most of the things right. But at some point, uh, you do want to balance it out with just, it's good enough. Exactly. Uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, if it works, it works. Uh, now, sometimes I'll notice a small correction as I as I do this. So I'll just do it now. So, for example, I missed a bit of a section here. This is a bunch of trees and foliage, uh, which I, I'll probably add some some screen tones to um, after scanning. Okay, so basically it's going to be um, grayscale, black and white tones, you know, grays. That's how it's going to mostly be established, the story here. Um, so, yeah. Now I'll let this dry, just make sure the lines and everything is dry. And then we can erase one more time. I see some areas that need more erasing. 
but yeah and i'm gonna again apologize in advance for the setup it's been really like pulling things from all directions just to make sure that i have two cameras here again i need to still improve my uh top tabletop setup when i'm doing a live stream but in any case we're, we'll let this uh this this page rest for now something interesting is i based this totally off of a brinks car and this said Brinks. I'm going to add my own text to it. I'm going to design a logo and put it here. It's going to just be called Locks. I don't know if you can see what it actually says here. Locks. Now look at the characters, okay? Um, there are some corrections I'll do here. For example, the lip looks weird. It's way too... It sticks out too much. The necks are a little awkward in some spots. Again, if it works, it works. Um, don't You don't have to obsess over it. It's okay if it's not perfect. Trust me, it's, it's like, it's my first work. I'm really just aiming to publish something, to publish a story. Uh, so yeah, Mr. Rainbow, I love looking closely at manga too and paying attention to what I'm seeing. Yes, and, and whenever manga artist understands that, it makes me so happy when they put that extra effort into the details. To me, I had to put a lot of effort into this even though the result will be, of course, inferior to someone who has done this for uh, for years. Trust me, I put so much work into this. Um, so yeah. Now you're going to see something cool, because we're going to do some uh, nib pen inking. So I'm going to use this. Uh, my nib pen, this is a... The brand's not that important, but it's Tachikawa. It's the most famous one and I'm going to be using deleter ink it's this one it's just called deleter it doesn't delete anything it's black ink um, the same brand as the paper by the way deleter is a common brand for manga products uh, manga creation products now you're not going to see much again before I ink that's fine um, I don't expect you to see all these small pencil lines but I will start this time with the lines again okay I just wanted to wrap up that previous page to warm up uh, Oh, that's Japanese. I wish I'll have to look back and, and translate it. I can't read that. Or it could be Chinese. But it looks Japanese to me. Uh, do you do ink rolling? I actually don't know what it is. What's ink rolling? I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, Pranjal, hey, thank you for being here. Uh, Peggy, I will never look at comics, manga. The same again. So much work. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. They put like the professionals that have to crank out 19, 20 pages every single week on a weekly schedule, it's insanity. Um, it's very notorious for, you know, people basically sacrificing their entire lives just to make uh, the monthly deadline. It's it's insane. It really is. And I think it's admirable, crazy at the same time, but, but admirable for sure. Um, it's crazy work ethics, which is which is a very strong cultural thing in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. See the the rulers starting to go a little. I don't know why they always start to have an awkward edge. Maybe I'll clean it up a bit. Um, the Japanese text. Could you uh, do Google Translate and paste it for me? You or someone else? I just don't. I'm. I'm. You know what? I can do it. Actually, I can. I'm just. Um. Again, I'm on my Mac today. That's what I have in front of me here. Like, I can do it. Myself. Let's see. I'm just curious. The manga is Japanese. I mean. Uh. Oh, it's Chinese. It says, "Is it watercolor? Or is it a sketch?" Ah, uh, it's just gonna be sketch. Yes, just sketching this time because it's for the manga thing. Now you see. So this this panel shows the glass shattering. This I'm gonna do fully digitally, so I'm not gonna do anything here when I'm inking. Um, now, as for the tools I'm, I'll be using, again, I'm gonna be using the nib pen you saw, the G pen in particular. That's a very common pen to use for manga. And it's just um, recognized as that look, uh, as the manga look. See here, especially, that's a very manga-ish thing. That's what I'm aiming for. Now, for the cars, I'll be using a mix of normal uh, liners. There are some differences uh, between the different materials. Now, here, we have one panel, so I can just go over it. But you see this. So this indicates, and I know it's hard to see, 
this indicates a spark of noticing something. That spark is going to go over the panel. So it's another thing I have to pay attention to. Now I'm being extra careful because the problem with live streaming this is I, I can't move as freely. And I don't want to obstruct the paper and I, and I want you to hear me, uh, which is why I have to be even more careful with what I'm doing. Because otherwise I could go like, this be really close to the paper and I find myself doing that all the time. But I did want to share some of the process with you because I think it's really cool. And by the way, if you want to be able to read it, all you have to do, I put the first link in the description box. Uh, you just visit that. It's going to take you to my Webtoons page. Uh, this is a Webtoon. This is where I'm going to post it. Um, if you just follow me there, uh, you should be able to see once I post an update that, I, that it's out. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know anyway, you know, you're in a post on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere. But if you just want to make sure you get that uh, update as soon as it's out, uh, you can follow me there. Uh, once the story is out, you'll. Oh, you'll... So, okay. So here, simple, but I need to make sure I. I need to get a transparent ruler. This is good, but. One. Two. And finally, this, and I love when the speech bubbles go over the, um, go over the frames because it, it just makes you continue. It's like a flow. And I did dedicate quite a bit of thought to how I'm putting the speech bubbles to make sense. Because that's another like science almost. Um, I've been following you for a long time. This is the first time to watch live broadcast. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, I do these usually on Thursdays. I'm going to spice it up a bit and, and mix up the dates. But for now, the days three and times too. I'm going to do a few things soon. But yeah, mostly the vast majority of my live streams is this day, this time. There we go. And we are done with this part. This is the easier part, of course. Once we get to the characters, it's a little more of a challenge. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue like this without the light for as long as we can, but at some point we'll probably have to turn it on, which is fine. Now, I may tape this because it's. Just very gentle. It doesn't move. My jeans just to <laughs> get rid of some of the glue. Uh, uh, Gobi, is that chamber? I'm not sure what it means, uh, but thank you so much. Uh, what do you mean chamber? No. Uh, Ranjal, I think I read this one, but whatever. Your your paintings are so good. I tried it myself and I love the result. Thank you so much. Yeah, and at some point, make sure you're um, kind of painting things Make sure you're painting things you want to paint and even uh, from pictures you take or views that you're looking at. Uh, it's very important for growth. Also paint your own kind of things, you know, paint your own way and your own subjects. I find that to be important on our tape. Okay. Dip pen. There we go. Um, you'll get to see some of this. This is always scary, this stage, because it's <laughs> I have to dip it in here um, and it's a very weird kind of medium, to be honest. Dip pen, I'm still learning it, um, but you'll see how, how I... it's always a little nerve wracking just getting started. Um, I'm actually going to get started with best for me personally to start with small lines. Other one really myself. Frame. Now, actually, a good way I found to treat inking is almost as an extension of the sketch. So I find it not that beneficial to look at it as I'm tracing each and every line I have here, uh, but rather it's it's a form of art own right. So I'm I'm drawing. At least I'm trying to draw with the nib pen.
sometimes you don't have to do fast lines. Uh, but yeah, to me at least I try and almost pretend like I'm drawing with it. Actually, let me do this. Sorry for the noise, but now I can get a little closer. Uh, something about the inking stage is actually really fun and freeing um, because it's almost, it's doing an action that doesn't necessarily require a lot of like the raw, th tough thinking uh, when you're, um, when you're drawing the details the first time. That's like the hardest part. Um, now you'll notice how I don't have all the details uh, whenever I'm sketching. I'm kind of working off my pencil sketch and doing my best. Um, and I'm adding a lot of the details at this point. That's very normal. And it's something you just learn to do with time, you know. That. And again, I'm I'm much closer to mastery with watercolor compared to sketches and, you know, more realistic, detailed, linear work. So this is still very new to me in a way, you know. Uh, but that's the process. It's, it's slow. It's, you know, it takes a lot of um, patience. Um, we can mix it up. I can do this eye in a second. Uh, which filter do you use in GIMP for the three uh, washes of watercolor? Uh, yeah, it's going to be called Posterize also in GIMP. Uh, the trick is finding it in the menus. Uh, you'll have to actually look it up online because I don't remember off the top of my head like exactly where it's at, unfortunately. But I think a quick Google search will find you the answer to that. Go. Now, any mistake I make here, okay, because I will be able to fix everything digitally and also manually. You'll notice there's quite a lot of variation in how I draw my noses. Um, sometimes I like to show some of the shape, some of the shadow underneath, but sometimes I won't. Uh, okay. With mouse, it's honestly more about being gentle. Don't wanna. You don't want to. Um, it's a, it's fl a flexi a flexi nib. Yeah, um, it's called a G pen, so it's a very standard type. Um, if you look for a G pen nib, you'll just find it. The nib uh, is sold separate from the wooden part. That's how it works. There we go. Got to get comfortable with um, drawing lines slowly, not just fast. You can't rely really on uh, speed sometimes. Color. Oh, actually, I may go here. I'll have to cut across. That's fine. Like that, honestly, I'm sure once I scan this, I'll be looking at some details and I'll be wondering what are they, what are these? I'm not sure what I drew here. RC. See some shaky lines, like don't be too worried or obsessed about, it's okay. To draw some lines shaky. Now, if you have any questions, not just about inking, but anything else, feel free to. I'm basically going to just go through this process, get as much of this uh, done as I can. And uh, if there are any questions as I go, I'll just answer them. So uh, feel free to ask away. Uh, I do know some people are, are interested in combining combining uh, pen and ink 
with watercolor. So it's a good kind of opportunity to think about these things. Uh, but regarding this specific type of a nib pen, um, it's not that good for watercolor paper unless it's hot press. I wouldn't use that kind of a pen, honestly. Um, it's too cutting. It's gonna cut your watercolor paper, get messed up and tangled in the uh, paper fibers. You may not want that. Seat belt. It's gonna be a long and challenging line, but we got it. That I, I'm actually considering just leaving it like that, not even showing where it comes from. Uh, just leave some, you know, details here. A lot of it is just like painting. It's you have to think compositionally what what details you want to show. Um, I'll probably switch this with a straight line. Um, uh, one, two, three, rock fun. I'm writing a graphic novel at the moment, but uh, not sure which art style I want. Yeah, I would say whatever inspires you. Honestly, there's no real good answer to that. Um, Two things. One is whatever inspires you, of course. And the second is whatever is doable. Now, what do I mean by that? I could try and go for a more uh, realistic approach. If this, this is not close to the most like realistic manga you'll see, uh, but I just know it's gonna take ages. I'm not that experienced. It's just not gonna be worth it. Um, so have, uh, practicality in mind, I guess, right? Um, Liz, not relevant to what you're doing now, but if one has to follow what you are painting, is it considered wrong to sign the painting? Eh, not really, to me. Um, the, I don't really care about the signature, but it's more about the context with which you publish it, if you're gonna share it online. So if you're gonna do something like this, uh, I would much appreciate if you write in the description um, based on your own work, you know, uh, as long as you do that, honestly, I don't, I don't care uh, as much because it doesn't, you no, know, it's not, we're not in competition really. Um, everyone has their own you know, very distinct style and there are going to be some minor differences and it's just not that big of a deal to me. Some will disagree, so you have to ask them. Um, but to me personally, it's not a big deal. Uh, I know for some it is, though. Uh, I think as long as you're honest and you're saying that this is based on someone else's work, you you should be okay. Big of a deal. That's what. Uh, one thing to note about this pen, really almost obstructing with my hair, um, is that. Uh, if you don't use it for a few minutes, you have to clean it up and dip it again and kind of start fresh because um, the ink dries. I want to make sure. It's okay if it happens, but you just got to wash it, which is why I have a glass of water here just in case. Um, Peggy, do you do live chats at a certain time on Thursday? Yeah, um, or uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time. 9 a.m. Eastern time. I said 4 because to me that's 4 p.m. Uh, what is it? GMT plus 2, I think. That's my time zone. Go. Uh, no, I'm not moving to him, even though it's better to work left to right because I don't want to smear it. Uh, one thing, if you'll give this kind of a pen a try, you'll see that it takes ages to uh, dry, more than you'd think. When you think it's dry, there's still some ink hanging on the, on top of the paper surface. You want to be very careful. Here, the neck isn't as good in terms of location; should be a little more to the left, but kind of too late to fix that. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying just so that the overall package that is this story uh, will be good enough. So if I'm going to just for the glasses here, I'm just going to do one line. I don't need all the. So if as a, a finished product. Story is decent enough and, you know. And the art 
makes it work and the text isn't too tacky. Um, as long as that's the case, I'm happy. That's pretty much where I'm at. So, um, hey, yo, you do manga, do you, uh, watercolor depends later, hey, Zeus. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, uh, paint them. I may consider doing just the first page in color digitally, but uh, honestly, that wasn't my plan. Um, I plan to publish everything here black and white. It just color is just good for getting attention sometimes, but honestly, everything on Webtoon is colorful anyway, so maybe the black and white will uh, bring more attention. Who knows? Plus, I'm not going to rely on their organic. Uh, going to share it with you and uh, everyone on the different platforms and hope people see it that way. I'm also sharing it on some local Facebook groups. Um, there's, there are some really good manga anime gaming uh, groups here locally. Uh, so this should go here like that. So he has this um, colored Polo shirt, however you want to call it. Um, but he also has a vest on. A ceramic vest, what you call these. They both have them. Because it's a, you know, type of uh, private security kind of delivery thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep the eyes simple here. So probably just this work. The eyes will have more details. Um, in some larger panels here. But for these small ones, you know, sometimes you tell this a better story by leaving things out, you know. Um, Sierra Blue, is it, uh, if it's better to work left to right, why did you choose to work right to left? Um, yeah, in terms of the inking, just so I don't smear this thing here, because I just finished that, I didn't want to go over to this. Uh, but if you're talking about the story-wise, writing it from Let's do uh, writing the story from right to left. That's because manga is very commonly uh, drawn like this, right to left. Very common for a manga to be read like this. Some aren't, but the traditional way is. Now, this is how I know I warmed up properly because I actually got this line very smoothly. Definitely good enough. <laughs> a lot of inking, inking is really where, funny enough, it's kind of like watercolor, where confidence shines and actually means quite a lot, um, which is uh, a good thing and a bad thing sometimes. You can totally have a good inking day and a bad inking day. Days where the lines just turn out exactly how you envision them. And then days where it's completely not the, the way you wanted it. What are you, um, everyone, working on in terms of... You do this, sorry for the noise. Okay, we're good. Uh, in terms of artistic projects. Um, are you working on anything interesting, everyone? Let me know. So, I'm actually happy where, with the direction this page is going. Um, it always changes it a bit to ink. Just gives it, you know, a more finished look, yes, but also, um, you know how, you can probably relate to this, how sometimes you do the sketch and it looks really good, and then as soon as you do the final inking or, you know, final lines, suddenly it doesn't look as good. Because there's something about the vagueness of sketches that makes things sometimes look better. Uh, which is funny that that's how it works, but it actually happens. Uh, when things are vague, more open for interpretation, fewer details, often they look a little better. Um, and then as soon as you put that final line in, 
Um, you're closing up a lot of options, um, which is a good thing in terms of, you know, certainty and for the viewers. Um, but it can be a bit, you know, all the potential that was there disappears. And if you did a good job, it's going to be okay. But if you kind of messed up some details, or, ooh, see this? This is going to be fixed digitally 100. Totally smeared the panel. I told you, I thought this was dry. It wasn't even close. Now, I just need to make sure I don't smear this different places. Not that, but I just completely smeared this here. One thing you want to make sure is you don't continue. All I did was rotate it so that I can get this this line here, but you have to be really careful. Okay, I can. Sorry for some more silent parts. There we go. Uh, Logan, uh, a bit random, but I'm making a geometry uh, dash level or clash level. It looks like dash level with a bunch of art in it and animation. Oh, that's cool. What's a geometry dash level? I, I actually I don't think I know what it is. Uh, let me know. Uh, one thing that's interesting, and as soon as you dive into the world of comics, manga, it doesn't really matter, it applies to everything, is face expression. Um, and you realize how much of a different nuance there is to different face expressions. Um, small decisions you make really change um, what people are, are what they look like, their feeling. Um, it's also to the point where it's not just the angle of the mouth, but like how high or low it is, things like that can really uh, change the feel. I'm putting an X because that's going to be in black. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how these small changes to lines and details can make a person look very different in terms of their impression. What I like about the, this kind of a G pen is um, it can do very thin lines as well. So the variation is nice. It doesn't go too thick, but it can do like medium thickness and um, quite a nice um, thin line if you need some smaller details. That's very convenient, actually. Uh, so let me get, I don't know where it's safe to put the my hand, but. Worst case, I'll fix it. Um, this is also going to be blank. So you just put an X uh, so that I know. We can do this in, in a second. We can darken, you know, whatever is necessary. I like doing my eyebrows this way. Uh, I think I've seen it in Berserk and other places. And ever since then, I'm like, that, that's how I'm drawing eyebrows. I like showing the almost individual hairs, you know. That looks nice. Um, now let's finish up this guy here. Left. Um, Plumpy, hello. I'm a bit late to the party today. Is that a dip pen? It's always cool to see you doing uh, line work. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, this is really something it takes a while to warm up uh, as you do it. So I'm still in the warming up stage, honestly, but um, it's great fun. It's great fun. And you see, the result is good. It's not it's not like terrible or anything. Um, yeah, how am I going to do this in terms of angles? Let's completely reverse this and work like that. It can be a little confusing sometimes, but I mean, it's better than smearing everything up. And I believe in my pencil enough. I think. I hope. Now, sometimes when it's upside down, it's easier to locate all your mistakes. So hopefully that's not going to be a thing here. 
But, uh, oh, connecting to what I said earlier, sometimes it's really useful to drop a lot of details um, because it helps you tell a better, clearer story. So, like, I have a scene where this guy's glasses, you just don't see one of his eyes because of the glasses. I think it looks really good. Um, even though you should technically be able to see them, see the, the eye, you just don't, um, which is funny. But Sometimes for storytelling sake, also you'll hide someone's eyes. So, uh, for example, in Bleach, if you read it, I mean it's it, it was published ages ago. The the part I'm talking about, some spoilers, but let's just say that there are certain um, characters where their eyes aren't visible on purpose uh, to enhance their menacing, threatening. It's a thing. <laughs> beard, blah, blah, blah. Um, as for the beard, I'm gonna just use these kinds of lines. Very easy to make people's beards look way too rough and rugged in a manga setting, in a comic setting as well. Be a little careful with it. Uh, Mr. Rainbow, I'm enjoying using my graph uh, paper for drawing shapes. Cool. <coughs> Geometry dash the game. Oh, it's a game. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. Uh, Plumpy, hello. A bit late. Oh, yeah, we read that. Mr. Rainbow, Plum it's a Jeep. And yes, indeed, it's called a Jeep. Um, by the way, did anyone play the new uh, Harry Potter game? Hogwarts Legacy? I want to try it out because I love Harry Potter. I'm not up to date on anything. Like, I haven't, I haven't read or watched films in the last, I don't know, two years? Because I didn't remember watching them, maybe a year ago or two. We did like a small uh, mini binge. I need a reference for myself. So I, I'm gonna be using another page here as reference for the hair, because I didn't do it as detailed here. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I watched or read any Harry Potter. I read the books once, watched the movies a couple of times. Um, I love the world and everything, so I'll probably get the game. Um, uh, and because I'm, I've been playing a bit of video games uh, lately, I'm actually curious to give it a try. It looks good, like visually it looks good. It actually will be out, I believe, here tomorrow. Um, I know it's out already in, I guess, US, UK, all of that. Um, so yeah, seat belt, very important. You're securing a delivery. Worth a lot of money, you gotta put your seat belt on. Uh, and then the seat, you know, when you, when you, whenever you draw these kinds of things, it really makes you do weird research. Like, oh, does this, where does the seat belt come out of? And what, how is the car window built? It's so funny. The things you end, end up Googling and, and using as reference is just hilarious to me. Um. This as well. Some details in the background, but I'm gonna keep these fairly empty. Just kind of hint. It's it's clear that they're in the car. That's all I care about. Um, I wonder if I should check out like where the seat belts come from, instead of just ignoring their. existence in a way, but should have looked today when I was in my car. Doesn't scratches the paper instead of drawing. You have a bit of a gentle touch with it. There we go. I'm gonna wait for the switch part. Oh okay. Uh, not yet, just watch the YouTuber play it. Cool. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mr. Rainbow. It's 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 Eisen. I was referring to Eisen. Yeah, Eisen does that. There's I have the volume here actually. Oh, Ruth is crying. Maybe I'll let her in one second. It's getting dark, but we'll wait with the light for it. She's such a good doggo. Uh, oh, wait, I was reading. Yeah, uh, we're talking about Bleach Soul Society arc. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, but that sounds cool. I dig it. I always uh, see those manga uh, packs on Amazon and it looks fun. I like the glasses uh, idea. Always a classic move for Village. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, so Thunderwolf, it's interesting that you're waiting for the Switch port because I'm doing right now the exact opposite. Well, it depends on what system you have. So to me, I've been playing Witcher on the uh, Switch and I'm kind of tired of the small screen for that in particular because I usually play handheld. I don't know why, why I don't find it comfortable to connect it to the television. It is connected, but I don't know why. I end up always using it handheld. Um, plus my, uh, controller started drifting. If you, anyone who has a switch knows that, um, what that means. So I'm going to actually probably get the Witcher on the PC. Um, it's a bit silly, but I don't think I can continue playing on the, on the switch. And, and it's been so long that I'll probably restart anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to wrap up this page. Let me do this. The ink, actually important to do. And we'll do some work with other pen. Because we're reaching a point here um, where we'll need the normal liner pens. Clean this up a bit. Uh, hey Daiji, how are you? Thank you for being here. Plumpy, what kind of a car do you have and how's BJJ going? Uh, the car is just a, a Mazda, very simple, I don't know, 2003 model. Um, BJJ going good. Uh, I, uh, I'm going, I'm still going, which is the most important thing. Uh, I keep getting these small kind of annoying injuries. So last time I, I, I stubbed my toe. Um, so the next day it hurt like hell. And I, and I thought to myself, man, I can't believe it's, it hurts so much just from this. And and I I was really hoping it's going to be significantly better the next day. And it was. It was like 80% healed. Now it's fully healed. I'm going to go tomorrow, actually. So it's been a week, unfortunately. Um, Daiji, I know what you mean about uh, researching for references. The offbeat stuff you have to look up for something mundane. That's how a seatbelt is uh, uh, situated relative to everything else. Yeah, it's it's so silly sometimes. But, you know, I'm lowering my bar here because it, I, I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, uh, thank you, Jill. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Ruth came to visit. Indeed. Uh, let me see. I think I missed a message that uh, I found interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Good, 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 good. I think I read everything. Good. So um, let's try. How dark is the screen? Is it okay to you or should I turn on the light? Because the light's going to look awkward, but at least it's going to be more well lit. I think without for now. I think without for now. Um, so let me grab my kind of darkening. I'm just going to do this. Um, get some black color here i'm still not sure if i want to have to have this guy's hair just black or linear like the eyebrows i think linear is going to be a bit messy maybe i should maybe i should go for um uh, dark you know Oh, 
we'll see. Sometimes you really just have to go for it and, and see, you know, what it looks like. And if you look at, for example, mangas like Death Note, their glasses are going to be much more detailed and accurate and they'll have real clear distinctions of where the highlights are. Uh, that's a little too much for me. Um. Um, everyone says hi to Ruth. Um, Peggy, can you can you recommend a good pen and ink set? My pen drops ink randomly. Ooh, um, I'm using a bunch of them, just random liners like Stadler and Sakura and Faber Castle. So actually, I'm pretty agnostic with the brand I use of pens. I just go for whatever. Um, I know that's not like the best. Uh, information wise but that's that's honestly how i do it i just kind of you know go for it um so you should probably try a few and every surface is going to be different as well so you may want to make sure that this the, the pen feels good on the specific surface you're using that's another thing that you want to pay attention uh, i'm going to use this i have a, a little brush pen here um just to get these you know i'm going to fix that digitally I don't think that looks good enough, but that's fine. Now, just for the eyelashes, which aren't going to be a big part here. I do want to show some of them. That. Um. Oh, snap, hope you get better. Yeah, thank you, Thunderwolf. I'm I'm 100% now. It's good. Um, Mr. Rainbow, in the Helsing manga or anime, they do the glasses uh, look frequently. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, rock fan. My graphic novel is set in Miami, where my relatives live. So I hired them uh, to do all of my reference photos. Oh, that's that's funny. Yeah, that's you got to use whatever you can, really. Uh, Daiji, it's interesting that you have fine liners there as well. Uh, when would you recommend using it versus the dip pen? So whenever you have a lot of straight lines, a lot of mechanical objects, like the cars here that I'm about to ink, I'll be using liners for that. That's exactly the, the goal. Now, there is also a nib pen called um, Maru. Just dot, it's called dot maru is zero basically or a dot um i just don't feel like switching right now but i'll, I'll tr try using it in the future i just am not experienced enough it's much thinner lines better for these kinds of things uh logan aot coming back in less than a month is gonna be so amazing yeah yeah i'm looking forward to that um i am um i read the manga because i couldn't wait i'm so impatient sometimes uh but despite reading it, I'm really curious to see, you know what, I'm going to do this. So sometimes you have to do something and see what it looks like. So I'm going to leave a bit of, a, of the glasses kind of uh, light up there. Um, yeah, I'm uh, very curious to see how it's going to be, even though I read the manga, because I couldn't wait. Hmm. Should I do the inside or the outside? It's, I think I'll go with the inside here. This. Now the X, I'll have to, to delete it probably. Um, I think this I will. Control. By the way, um, if anyone's curious about the uh, how I scan these, I'm actually scanning it in black and white, not grayscale. So that means the software only recognizes the um, the black of the pen, which is fun. Uh, it saves a lot of time for isolating the layer and you know, it's just easier to do. Uh, so if you're doing line work that's black and white, I recommend actually trying at least, I'm gonna do this. I don't know why it feels right. So I'm gonna just go like that. There we go. Gotta improvise. But in case, yeah, I highly recommend um, you scan black and white. Um, yeah, as for Attack on Titan, I'm so excited. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I watched so much and I read so much. The manga isn't, to me at least, um, not necessarily in my top mangas. Um, just because of the art, funny enough, and the some of it has some awkwardness, I will admit. Um, 
as an experience, as a reading experience, but I can't say anything bad about it because it spawned the anime. Uh, the anime is probably my uh, favorite one ever. Um, I want to say it's my favorite one. It could be top three kind of a thing, but probably number one. It has the, the most, to me, like emotional moment, interesting moment, interesting characters. It's just so good. Uh, so yeah, let's do some cars with the small uh, liners. Let's see how it goes. You have to be a little careful with these. I feel like the light's getting annoying. Let me try this out. Head and grab this. I'm gonna may move the camera a bit. Terrible. I think that's better. So let's uh, have it well. So for these cars, um, see that shadow, that's the only problem. Let me turn on the light in the room. Let's see how it works. Just been a while since I uh, did a drawing stream. So yeah, some cast shadows, but uh, you tell me if it's super annoying. I do have a reference I wanna uh, use for this one in particular, so we'll see. Um, I saved a reference. Not that important to sh to see it, but I'll, I wanna have it open. Um, just so that I can make sure I get the small details right. There we go. So this is a complex one, by the way. Let me hold it up close. There is a guy here shooting at them, which is why the glass breaks. Now I don't remember who it is who told me that they saw uh, that they saw the video that I based this manga on because there's a viral video out there and they recognize. I'm super grateful to hear that, by the way. <laughs> so thank you. I was super stoked. Um, uh, one, two, three, rock fan. Have you read Nausicaa? Of the yes, I I I have watched. The, um, it's gonna fall, I feel like. Uh, the light may fall on us. Um, I have um, read it, stopped in the middle, and watched the movie. And I like the movie um, a lot. Um, it was very old in the way it felt, too. Like, the pacing was slow. It's not like today, where things are built for a shorter attention span. And I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle with that aspect just a bit. Um, but once I devoted myself to it, um, it was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. The visual style, you know, you can't beat that. Just excellent. There we go. The eye is done. I know I'm all over with the process. Um, and also, uh, it's my top uh, one. <laughs> Number two is Neon uh, Genesis Evangelion. Uh, yeah, I watched the anime. It was trippy as hell. Um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. I really enjoyed it and was frustrated with it simultaneously. The frustration came from um, the storytelling. I just felt like I had no problem really with the trippy parts. If you watched it, uh, everyone you know. It's, it's a classic. I guess a lot of people watched it, but... I don't care about the trippy parts and all of that. I just feel like there were so many interesting potential in things to focus on and to explain even to us, uh, the viewer or reader, depending on, you know, which one. Um, and they just don't. And like, it's, it's okay, you know, there's the Adam, Eve, all of that. I just wanted a bit more of a lore dump and I never feel like I got it. And it was very disappointing to me. Um, it's a very weird storytelling thing, of course, you know, it's um, just a different type of storytelling. It was at the time of release, and it still is very strange compared to most things, which makes it, you know, gives it its charm and all of that, uh, which I do love. But that was hard for me to look past this storytelling aspect. And, and of course, what's his name? Um, what's the main guy's name? I forgot. He's so frustrating. I know a lot of people don't like him. Uh, He's a frustrating protagonist. At some point, 
here's my thing. If you want to grab me with a story, that's how I'm built. I need uh, to learn about the um, motivation of the protagonist. I really need to know what they're desiring and craving. Uh, not just their stated goal, but the actual thing they're going after, which they may not even know themselves. But I do love a stated goal as well. So as soon as... And I'm not talking about like Luffy saying, I want to be the king of pirates necessarily, though that's another way of doing it. But just as soon as they know what they want and they start struggling to get it, that's the moment, like a switch, where I can say it captured me and now I want to see what, what's going to happen. And him, Shinji was his name? I don't remember. Um, he never really showed it. All he showed was, you know, his fear and like but but there was he wasn't going towards anything from what i felt now i may not remember correctly and if if i if i am confused you know forgive me and correct me but that's what i felt at least that's my little uh, ramble about neon genesis it's a it's a great like visually it's great it's um i love the world building i, I just needed some more lore dump more of a <laughs> protagonist that chases something you know uh, those are some of the things I was really missing uh, with that said it was great I really enjoyed it um, so let me show you hello sorry about that shadow um, this is what I'm using liners for okay um, it's just not as effective to use a g-pen for this kind of a thing I see now that I forgot the eyebrow um, the liners are just built more for that steady line width, you know, small mechanical details. Um, one, two, three. Uh, apparently there's talks of a live action Spirited Away movie. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I, I don't know either. <laughs> it's always bad. I, I just think it's a different medium. And if you're not into it, you're not into it. I'm not into live action so far. Did you see End of Eva as well? Uh... Yes, I have. I have. I have. I've done some Reddit research to make sure I watch everything. I have watched it. Yes, it was great. It, it showed a bit more. Yeah, it was really nice. I like that they show um, what actually happened while they were, you know, melting away and all of that. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Like, I, I didn't even mind the trippy ending. I like the concept of the togetherness. I forgot the name, like the human whatever project. I like that concept, actually. I'm, I'm okay with it. The part where... They showed what happened really in real life there. I like that a lot. Um, Mr. Rainbow, I feel the same way with Evangelion. Yeah. Wait, I'm wrong. It was a stage adaptation. Both don't sound that good. Uh, Kiyome, uh, thank you if it's for me. Uh, I thought Shinji's uh, lack of motivation was his main character trait, and that was what he had to overcome. Interesting. Yeah, that's a possibility. And it's not like I hated him. It's more of a pet peeve of mine where I need to know a bit more if that makes sense about what the character desires and and he didn't give enough of that to me personally you know um i do think as a character he's interesting by the way um i definitely think that um i think it was interesting for me to you know even you know what's funny sometimes if you enjoy the way a character speaks the voice and all of that it can add a lot and and honestly i enjoyed even that as like just the way he sounds and and his mannerisms, even though he's, you know, a crybaby in, in some ways, in some part. And of course, it's scary, all of this. It's scary business. But I enjoyed even that. Just missed a bit on the front of, you know. Show me a desire towards something. And the flip-flopping, you know, that drove me crazy. He already joined, and then he left, and then he joined. That was my main problem with it. So now you see we're seeing through the window, and for that I don't uh, use too many details. I'm just kind of hinting at them, right? Um, it's easier to do because you don't have to draw as much, and uh, I think it's, it looks better. Honestly, this panel is all about their chase. Someone's coming right next to them. That's the thing I care about here. I don't really care um, about the details. It's more about the movement. I'm going to add a lot of speed lines also digitally after the fact. So that's something that will be there as well. Uh, but but this is like the classic example of this may meet you where you are with watercolor. To me, it's not, I'm not there, but you know, you just 
some point you have to call it done and say, okay, this, this painting is complete, it's not perfect, it's good enough. And that's where I'm at with this project where I'm just much less of a professional. Um, and, and my goal is just to create something that is uh, publishable in a way. Like to me, of course, I'm gonna publish it myself, but that is of quality that is publishable. Uh, and that's where a lot of people um, need to be when it comes to watercolor. And um, just kind of let go of that obsession with the perfect thing and just paint. Even play on quantity instead of quality if you have to. Um, so that's where I'm at with the manga, which is funny. You can find parallels maybe to your watercolor journey or other things. So as long as this reads as a car and it reads as a chase scene, I am good. Um, really don't mind anything else. Just let it be read accurately and hopefully people can enjoy the story as well of course uh, that's important to me and yeah here we go one car done and i'm not gonna lie drawing all of these cars for the for the 100 car uh challenge did help a lot <laughs> actually um so let's close this reference photo see uh what you're saying um, Rainbow Dish live action Disney. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, makes made no sense for them to make Aladdin live action. I would have loved to have seen a computer animated remake. Yeah, I played uh, Prince of Persia. I'm still playing the second one now. Really good. Second one in the trilogy, a Warrior Within. Uh, if it hits, you can always go back and redraw like one punch. <laughs> yep. There's a manga of Samurai uh, Champloo. I don't know what it is. I, I know, um, what's its name? Actually, it stopped midway. Uh, as soon as I understood, it's not done. Which one is the most famous Samurai manga? Uh, Vagabond, I think. Yeah. Ruth is chilling. Oops. Um, I really should do these things off camera. <laughs> uh, Vagabond, I, I started reading, it was entertaining for a couple of chapters and then I kind of lost it and it never really, um, I figured out it's not done and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna bail. Uh, one cool thing, let me show you, so you have a little uh, teardrop of sweat, you can add a small shadow under it, trick I learned from many mangas actually have more depth. Uh, plus I could s add a few shadows while I'm at. Gives it a bit of a, so Attack on Titan does these uh, vertically. That's the trademark of Attack on Titan, by the way. Vertical worry lines. Uh, Naruto and a bunch of older ones you know, used to do these just shading diagonally. Uh, but it's fun to see all the differences throughout. Sorry, I know I'm obstructing the screen. Uh, and I would probably, I warned you that's going to happen at some point. <laughs> uh, my light fell, but let me, maybe I'll place it here. No, that's not. I have to uh, do a snippet of this. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, I was going to say something important actually, and now I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really important to add these shadows here as well. Cause this is where when you're angry, oops, move this camera, forgot about it. These creases here, so when someone's angry or you know upset, it really creates a shadow. So you wanna make sure you uh add a bit of this. That looks good. Um he just now realizes they're shot at. Oops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he's just now realizing they're being shot at, which is which is uh, cool. And notice how just a few of these speed lines here at the base of the car really tell the swishy story of like it's it's fast. I'm gonna do the same probably with with the um, uh, secured truck, whatever it is. The uh, Mugen is just the coolest. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ruroni Kenshin is the great uh, the goat samurai manga. Yeah. Ruroni Kenshin. I haven't read uh, Champloo, but I like the anime. Interesting, never heard of it. There's a manga of samurai. Oh yeah, okay, I've read that. 
Oof, that was close. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, the second car, which I should have probably started with, you know, left to right again, but... Now, you can actually use a thicker pen. I just am missing the point 0.4. I have a point 0.5, which is a little too thick. Let me show you. If I use this one, I can get away with it, but I have to work a little faster. Because it's closer, so I consider doing it. This is where the logo is going to go, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get a window here. Another window there. You now it's great now that you can use so many 3D models. Um, you can pretty much uh, draw anything at any angle. There are so many tools. All you really need to do is just learn how to use them. Uh, practice it like once, twice, and you're... Vision. Uh, we're going to see more of that depth, that depth as well, and the bottom. And this goes down here, front of the car. We keep things a little sketchy around this spot. So close to the edge, anyways. Don't need too many details. Um, step here. Uh, the sketch itself is very. Um, so barren of any deep. Because again, this is all about the speed. I don't want to make it too stale. So as long as it's clear that it's cars in a chase, as soon as I add some of the speed lines, it's going to make a lot more sense as well. Uh, and then just a few marks for the doors and yeah. Go. Um. And I do like these lights that I noticed are the front. And these. Um, let's. I'm going to do something interesting. So I want to shade uh, these windows, but I don't want it to work against the speed. So here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to shade them with the direction of the movement of the cars. All you really have to do is this. Let's actually keep a bit of a highlight. If that reads well. Yeah, that looks well to me. Wasn't even planning on, but it looks good. There you go. Cars in a chase. Um, and we're pretty much done with this page. Uh, I do wonder if I want to darken his hair completely. <sighs> we're back to my other pages. So here I did do this. But I don't think that's sustainable for the larger. I'm just going to color it black. This makes a lot more sense. Um, so let's do that. Let's color some of the black shapes here. Honestly, the bit of an easier part. You have to be a little careful. That looks a lot better. Um, Love the details with the eyes. Thank you. Uh, Logan, the anime Mob Psycho I found was inspiring artistically as well as with the story. Yeah, I still need to check that out. It's on my list, Mob Psycho. Oh, by the way, anyone watched the new season of Vinland Saga? Uh, I don't remember if we mentioned it here. Uh, I watched, I think, two episodes. Uh, and so I probably have two more to watch before I have to wait for a new one. Um, it was an anime that took me like 15 episodes just to enjoy. Um, I didn't like it at the beginning. It was so slow and boring. I was expecting something else. It was the expectations problem. Uh, I was sure it's a shonen where it's more of a emotional senin. I don't know what you what you'd, uh, define it as. It, it was completely different from what I expected. And I should have known. Uh, I should have done more research. But everyone talked about it. And I think the manga is kind of... Um, Discussed as a shonen, which really isn't. Um, I'm more of a uh, Aoshin Shinomori fan. My handle is an indication. Wait, wait. Aoshin Shinomori? Um. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Um... So 
but what's the what's the name of the manga i just yusuke okay i don't know i missed something i'm <laughs> gonna check it out later uh Uh, <laughs> there is five episodes at, at the moment. Yeah, so I so I now have three episodes to watch. Okay, one came out between the time I watched and now. Uh, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm I've been enjoying the new season. Uh, it's a bit strange, you know. They they love doing it, kind of going in a weird direction every time. But uh, I heard it's worth persevering, and I may after this season just make the jump to the uh, to the manga. Because uh, I did start reading it, and I enjoyed it. Just as soon as I saw the anime, I was like, oh, I'm going to continue with the anime. One thing I like to do with the hair, it looks a little odd. A little bit of an egghead. I'll figure out if I want to later on. I think it needs a mess. Better. Um, with the bottom of the hair, I like to just fade it. Here it looks good. May not be the hair, but the drawing. Uh, let me get a bit of darkness. Here. Tough doing a character with glasses sometimes and make them look a certain way and not another way. Glasses can be interpreted in a very cliche in a way that people assume they know and you know they think something. Um, I don't know what happened here, but um, oh yeah, it's a bit of hair. Hope you don't hear that horn. That's super annoying. Someone's just having it pressed. Uh, okay, it's a character in Ruani Kenshin. I was looking for the name and I couldn't find like the manga name. Everyone talks about the the character. Like okay, so just the character. Um, let me do the same kind of shading I did for the windows with the tires uh, of the cars. This. Please let go of your car horn. Driving me. This I actually learned from Naruto. Um, shading with the direction of the movement. Everyone does this a little differently. Um, with uh, Berserk, the movement like this, when something moves, it's portrayed with these speed lines. It's completely just with speed lines. The object is broken into the speed line. This, right? Uh, this kind of a thing. I wholeheartedly learned Berserk. And this kind of a thing, I wholeheartedly learned from Naruto. Naruto. Um, here. And that way you don't hurt the sense of speed. Uh, anything you want to darken, it's best to do it this way. Um, and I think we're good. Maybe just a shadow under the cars? I don't know. Definitely a shadow. That shadow is going to already help us with the sense of speed, so that's good. I like sometimes to define the edge of the shadow a bit loosely and then just do these. Uh, same here. I know it's hard to see that. This, I'll do this and should be a value change here, but we'll get that done. So this page is done pretty much. Um, the one thing that's left is this panel and this panel. Uh, I'm going to do this digitally, the glass shattering, because um, like, I'd like to try this effect uh, digitally. I, I figured a cool way to do it. Um, I did want to add a bit of a shadow under the neck. I did that in the other page, and I liked it. Um, and after that, uh, we can move on to another one. Or just chit-chat a bit. Hard sometimes. Talk, <laughs> as you can see, uh, while doing this. Uh, I love these kinds of shadows. That's a totally a bleach thing. Let's do another.
There we go. Yeah, so I think this page looks good. Of course, adding screen tones will add a lot of details to it, um, a lot of them. Uh, but I'm quite happy with it. Um, let's give it a few seconds and then I'll erase. Meanwhile, let's see what uh, what's up. Uh, Plumpy Love, I made a mistake thanks to Netflix setup. I watched the newest season of JoJo's first that went to watch the older ones. When I realized it's a rough transition to the OG after watching the new ones. Yeah, and you know what's funny? We don't even have it here. We have just the... Um, there's one season that does th something from all generations of JoJo. That's the only thing we have here on Netflix, unfortunately. <clears throat> I would like to watch it from the beginning. Uh, I should check out other services. I think we should have it somewhere. Um... I also read the first uh, volume, and I liked it a lot, and then I just dropped it for some reason. But I want to go back to it, it's really good. Uh, Afro Samurai, also a must-watch, in my opinion. Sword fighting, Wu-Tang style. Oh, that's interesting. Hell yeah, plus one on Afro Samurai. Um, let's check it out. I wasn't familiar with it, I don't think so. But it sounds really cool. Um... One thing that's uh, that's cool that I noticed is the um, so Attack on Titan has some jujitsu and grappling and, and judo uh, in one of the fights. Um, uh, Aaron versus the Armor Titan. It's so good. They're doing tons of grappling uh, in season two. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> now that I see all the moves and the different you know uh, uh, positions, it's really cool. Uh, I hate how Star Wars Clone Wars is all out of order on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, they have that issue and sometimes on streaming services. Was wondering what would be in the middle panel. Shattering Glass always looks epic. Yeah, it's gonna look really cool. The thing is, it's not shattered, but it is gonna be broken. So because it's a bulletproof glass, because it's a vehicle that's meant to do these kinds of jobs, um, it's gonna there's gonna be some an, an epicenter of a bullet hole. And, and then a few of them, but it's not going to break. It's just going to crack. Um, so it's even harder to draw, but yeah. But it's, uh, so yeah. Clone Wars was so good. I'm addicted to it. And uh, Ahsoka, Sad Bane, and Vendor. Yeah, I'm so bad with Star Wars. Sorry, my apologies. Um, <laughs> I don't know much about... I, I tried watching, you know, the originals, of course. Um, it was very hard for me to connect, even though I know I'm probably missing a lot. Funny, I like the IP. Like, I really enjoy the uh, Knights of the Old Republic video games and Jedi Academy. Um, just the movies was a bit hard for me to connect with. I did watch one of the, I think, the first one in the last trilogy that, that a lot of people hate. Um, I enjoyed it because I'm such a <laughs> Star Wars normie. Uh, I don't know much about what came before and, you know, nuances. Uh, so I'm not proud to admit, but I'm not too dedicated <laughs> as a Star Wars fan. There we go. Clean up the eye. You have to be very careful when erasing. The number one risk for, you know, all sorts of uh, mishaps. You gotta be careful. This is a strong paper, so you're at a lower risk of, you know, cr uh, crumpling it up, uh, but you never know. So yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, but that's fine because my scanner picks up only what it needs to. Um, and I did miss out. I wanted to do some fragments here from the shooting. Some of the I want to show you. Really like how it came out the shells flying. Um, I think that looks really good in the M16. Um, thank God for references. <laughs> um, uh, did you see uh, Feder grapple Vader's fist with his face? No. No, I'm not. I don't know much about it. Sorry. Uh, I just know that I'm personally enjoying uh, Jiu-Jitsu right now. But yeah, I, I have a lot of learning to do, you know, different people competitions i i don't know much about this at all just doing it myself and and even there i don't know much about it at all i'm being wrecked um actually the last the last class i went to was really good um we did what's it called 
um, we did a side control to mount transitions together with a bit of gift wrap. Gift wrap was fun. Uh, actually clicked for me somehow. And then a bit of a choke and a bunch of things. It's really good, actually. It's a really good gym. Uh, I like it a lot. I got a little lucky. First one I went to and it was really nice. Um, people who know their stuff. Very supportive. Great. Um, okay, I'm going to add a few more details now before we move on. Way too empty. A bit of a hairline. Under the nose. I need to figure out beards. I'm still not really. And eyes. And noses. And everything. <laughs> Honestly. Figure out a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna. Sometimes I'll mirror it. Like. One eye is way too high. I'll probably mirror all of these in the computer and figure out what I need to play around with. Um. Why do you erase over the whole picture like that? Yeah, just erasing the, the pencil lines underneath. Got it right. Ooh, that's a tiny ear. I may have to liquefy. <laughs> we'll see about that. There's a lot of small corrections. The thing is, you know, you're going to work hard and correct, and then someone is just going to blast through the text again and not even barely pay attention to the visuals. Um, so to me, as long as the visuals don't break the experience completely, um, probably good enough. Uh, what else? What else? I don't want to be a slave to shading, so I don't necessarily want to shade every little thing that feels like it needs shading. Um, let's let's try some. Let's try shading the white of the eye. That looks good, actually. Oh, a few uh, creases here. Cause this guy's a little older. Uh, he's supposed to be older than the other guy. Um, so okay, that. It's going to be conveyed with this line, these lines around the eyes. It didn't. Not that important, but. Um, yeah. Uh, so let's do another one real quick. We're not going to finish another page. Let's pick another one. Maybe we'll do some lines and I'm kind of going to um, answer any questions. If um, so this is page number two. So we're done with one and two for now. Inked. I think it's a nice pace. Um, sorry, I don't have the, like you see here. So this is funny here. This guy turned out much better in my opinion than here. And it's hard for me to tell what it is sometimes. Um, but that's just life. <laughs> You know, I just like the facial features better here. Um, that's just how it's going to be. Um, this lack of consistency is something that happens in the beginning. And, and it's fine. One, two, um, three, four. Let's do four. For now. So I'm going to start with the panels. So you see nothing here. Here's what's going on in this part of the story. This guy, driver guy that's more experienced, tell this guy, get ready. If you have a shot, take it. That's why you're here. Um, and he's going to try losing them. Something like that. Basically, that's the basic idea. Um, so let's, let me take him. Are you using any reference? Yeah, so I already drew. So, um, I have used um, a lot of references, all kinds of references. Uh, Janae. Janae and family. Yeah, I used a bunch of them. I'm using 3D models. I'm using um, different assets. I'm using myself, taking pictures of myself in the positions, um, doing a lot of work with references. Uh, the one thing I don't use references for is the faces because I'm experienced enough and even they, for a tough angle, I will use uh, a reference. Uh, if someone's head is from really from above or below, um, I will use the reference and I'll change things up to make them more interesting actually. Because this, 
you know, sometimes things don't make sense logically. So if you actually put these two heads in three dimensional in a three dimensional space, this guy should be somewhere here because of the angle and perspective. But I brought him up because I wanted this angle of this face and I wanted him here so that it makes, you know, it looks good. Sometimes you make all of these changes that are story oriented and experience reader experience oriented, you know? Um, so yeah. Okay. So gotta be careful here. This line. Um, gotta watch out for that speech bubble as I always miss these. Um, Ooh, uh, and then we'll get these two lines here. Watch out for the bowl and the split here. That's gonna be one, two, and. And two more. Um, some people don't start with the squares. Um, if I would have done them digitally, I wouldn't have started with them as well. But because I'm doing them manually, hoping to rely as little as I can. By the way, I got this one terrible. I'll have to fix it digitally. Um, I want to rely on as least um, digital work as possible. I'm doing them. Uh, I'm not going to bring out the nib pen again because it's a hassle. I'll do this uh, using these pens. I have a reference for this too, just to make sure I get it right. By the way, I could do the speech bubbles with the this pen as well. It'll work. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. I'm still, still trying to get good faces. Yeah, it's a lot of repetition sometimes um, just to get the overall, you know, structure. And it really helps. Um, it's something I'll talk about a bit. I'm so I've been talking a lot about doing a perspective drawing course. One of the biggest things for perspective drawing is just understanding it. If you can understand it and draw it correctly, it will look good. In most cases, you won't have to go through too many too much trouble. It will just look good uh, because you understand it. Uh, understanding can go a long way. Let me get rid of the palette. I don't go a really long way. Uh, when it comes to what you create. Um, I've shown this example a lot with car tires and you've seen it here in the drawing. Um, when you have a car that goes uh, in this strange angle, right? Kind of top. So the tires are gonna be at this awkward angle, right? And as long as you understand it, you and you understand that's the line you're following, you'll be okay. The problem is when you don't understand and you try to draw it as you see it, and it's very confusing because you think you know what it looks like, but it, it actually doesn't. Uh, if we do this even more from the side, it's going to be even more prominent. Or maybe if you do a um, an oval like a head and you try and uh, I know it's super messy, but you try and um, cut out. So let's say this is where the eyes are going to be. So to cut out this side, you have to go perpendicular to that. Then this is the eyes. This is the, where the chin is going to be super rough, but just to get the idea across then the neck. Um, so yeah, just knowing what things should look like really helps really really helps um so uh, i'm gonna start with this uh rock and detail behind it so for the one at the back i am gonna use the thin let me change the detail here i'm gonna use the thin pen um i don't need to pull out the reference because i it's a very basic sketch so i'll just do it this pen is starting to run empty. I really need to get the mid size, the 0 0.4, 0 0.3 even. Um, but yeah, this car is just a background. It's not even the car that's chasing them, by the way. I just wanted another car there. <laughs> it looks cool, so you know. FYI. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I I wish I'd use an actual sheet of screen tone here. Actually, I wish. Um, such a hassle. It's a technique I'm unfamiliar with. Um, it's a strange thing I'm not necessarily looking to get into. Um, which is why I'm not going to use it. But... Um, Could have been really cool to do that. I I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> okay, uh, that's good. I'm gonna use screen tones for this probably. Now I'm gonna switch over to the 0.5 thicker line. Let's see what we can get here. Um, I'm gonna rotate my reference. Do I have the the actual R in front of me? This. Again, for more mechanical stuff, I definitely err on the side of using um, this pen rather than the G. And I want to show you, look at how cool the, the width, the line weight difference makes the distinction between the two cars, right? And don't worry, I'm gonna um, um, I'm gonna share a scan of this uh, for you for sure. Either uh, today or sometime soon. Um, Akuto box. Do you read One Piece? Um, no. I don't know if you ask me or Logan or someone else in the chat, but if you ask me, no. I. Uh, it was hard for me to get into reading. I did watch the, which is funny to say, because it's not hard, to, not easy to get into the anime as well. But uh, I'm like uh, 200 episodes behind on the anime. Um, I always take breaks, and then it takes me ages to go back to watching. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, but at least I'll have a lot to binge and watch and enjoy the next time I'll sit down and watch. Um, I heard so many, you know, big things happened and. And I wish, I wish I had more uh, time and desire to to watch it right now. Uh, and the funny thing is, as soon as I get back to it, I'm super, you know, I'm addicted again, and I want to watch another one and another one. Uh, but I just, it's so easy for me to leave it, and then forget about it for a few months, years even. I've been catching up on One Piece for years, you know. Uh, I was never fully up to date. Never. You see, I'm rotating the paper to help me with the angle. Some angles are easier on lines, especially when you do inking that's very gentle. I don't want it to look too um, mechanical, so I'm not... Um, I could use a ruler for everything here. Um, I want it to feel more organic. Uh, and if I had to describe it, think about how Naruto does mechanical stuff. It's very organic and it feels like a part of, you know, like it was drawn by the same uh, same person, same technique. Uh, if you look at something like uh, Death Note or Bakuman, all of these by these two guys that are really good. One of them is really, the, the artist is really good at all of these small details. Look at how fast this dries. I can touch it, no problem. Um, it's too much. It's way too much for me. The um, I don't like the look of... The car looks almost like a photorealistic black and white, and then the person looks like this. You know, So I'm looking for something a little more um, organic looking. Human and organic looking. And of course, it's easier, right? <laughs> I had to now go through all of the details. Super challenging. Uh, this part, however, I may leave for digital because this is really in, like a net, this grill. I don't know if I want to get into that now. Um, Detective Conan is another series to binge, read, or watch. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I definitely want to watch it at some point. Uh, over a, a thousand chapters, yeah. So the last time I stopped uh, One Piece, I was in the... Um, what do you call the samurai arc? Uh, I forgot. That's where I stopped. Uh, the beginning of that arc. Wano. Wano arc, I think. Um, 
that's where I stopped, and uh, since then I <laughs> never continued. The previous one I stopped at, I stopped at uh, Do Flamingo for like a few months. I stopped at Big Mom for probably a year. Because things were moving slowly and that drove me crazy. I really would enjoy more the the manga, I'm sure. Uh, it's just so weird for me now to make the transition to the manga. After always watching in color and hearing the music and the whimsical art style. So it's really a tough catch-22 for me <laughs> with One Piece. I really started liking like short creative endeavors so if you short not creative endeavors but short creative products like short video games short you know short stories uh, there's something nice about just finishing it in one go uh, i gotta go i'm glad i caught you live love the watercolor videos thank you so much Janae. thank you thank you uh, detective conan is underrated but the mystery and action and it's actually epic yeah oh i heard so many good things so many good things. I want to check it out. I love how Bakuman, they basically based like everything on, on real manga. So you have a like a detective manga in Bakuman and within the Bakuman universe. I love Bakuman. I didn't watch the anime, just read the manga. I'm trying to, you know, all the um, 100 card challenge thing really helped me. Uh, with these kinds of references. Um, I'm really trying to think about it almost in a painterly way. If you start thinking about it like um, like an industrial designer, you'll never see the end of it, really. It's not for me. Um, if I start now trying to really slow down with every line and getting all the... It's just going to be so hard. And I could, you know, I could whip out the ruler and get every line there, but it's... Oh, man. There's no end to it, and it's not as satisfying to me, you know? So I'm kind of doing the same thing I would do with watercolor in a way, funny enough. It was here. And at some point, you just take a step back, and you're like, yeah, it makes sense, it makes sense, you continue. Um, there's a tough line. These lines will be easier to do from this direction, because it's a bit of a curve, actually. And you know what? Some lines are shaky, that's fine. People are gonna run through the speech bubbles anyway. I know it. I know that's what's gonna happen. Um, uh, Romina, uh, I spent a lot of time watching uh, D. Cannon when I was a little girl. Uh, D. Cannon. I think it's familiar. Uh, hmm. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm missing something. Canon. Canon D. Yeah, I think I know it. I think I know it. Uh, with a keen eye for details, one tr one's truth prevails. Yeah, one truth prevails. That's a Conan quote. I love detective stuff. Um, the thing is, so it depends on like what. The storytelling is like, I love detective stuff, but but uh, I have um, you know my type of storytelling that I enjoy more. Um, so I'm not proud to say I tried. I really wanted to watch um, Blade Runner. So people don't hate me for this, but I was so bored. You know, I tried watching it and it was so boring. I quit. You know, I like to cut my losses, so I quit 40 minutes into the movie. 40 minutes into the movie, I quit. Uh, it was just so boring. And I'm talking about Blade Runner. I want to watch Blade 2. Blade, I think I'll like. But Blade Runner, um, which is kind of detect film noir, I guess. Kind of noir, but, but sci-fi. Um, man, it was hard. It was really hard. And I tried, but I ended up giving up. So yeah, I'm the type of person that really cuts their losses when it comes to shows, movies, stuff like that, I don't, I'll just quit. <laughs> um, so yeah, but something more of a mystery, um, I don't know how to, just the way they tell the story really changes it for me. So if you tell the story the way I like it, I'll enjoy it more. 
Um, but I know it's like cult and I know it's really beloved. And I'm sure if I would have watched it when it released, it would make a lot more sense. That's for sure. Um, so I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to whip up the ruler. Um, and I'm going to do some shadowy lines um, like this. I feel like I want to do it for the part in particular. Let's see how it turns out. Just got to make sure I keep them somewhat um, parallel to the general. I just feel like it will benefit from it. You see, sometimes I'm really just going for it. Sometimes I feel like this is what manga artists everywhere are doing, by the way manually drawing tons of lines like this with the ruler. Um, I'm doing most of the, again, tones and work like that digitally. I don't have the patience for that, but I feel like it will look really good here. So I want to see it like a, a shadow under the car is really important. So that's the thing I'm going to obsess over funny enough. Uh, let's see where we're at. And then a bit here. I don't know why I love the way these shadows look. See, I like that a lot. Probably a little hard to see, but I could do cross hatching, but I think that's enough. Um, yeah, Detective Conan. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think. Uh, what time is it? Uh, oh, it's almost six. Yeah, I, six here. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up now. What do you say? Uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about in the meantime? We can definitely do that. Uh, but I think I'll get close to wrapping it up for today. Rest a bit. Getting hungry. Um, and I'll, I'll probably continue doing some inking later on, actually. Um, we'll see how I feel and how it goes. I'll probably... Um, Add a bit of a darks here and there. Um, there's a lot of work yet to be done. Uh, the rest of this is, of course, going to be paint, uh, sketched with the nib pen. Dipped into ink. Um, I have anything. Yeah. This is how you buy the nibs. Tons of G-Pen. G-Pen. <laughs> Literally what it says. And after a while, you just replace them. Uh, and then for the Maru of these, all this is by the liter, uh, I believe. This is by Tachikawa as well. Oh, not sure. I have these for almost a decade now. <laughs> I uh, tried um, drawing manga. I think it was even back when I was in high school. Actually, I tried drawing some manga and I bought it back then. I was already all about the <laughs> art supplies. Um, have you watched any of the Manben? Of course, with Naoki Urasawa. Yes, I watched probably all of them. I love Manben. Uh, some of them are without subtitles, which is a bit of a disappointment. But yeah, you know, I actually know how I'll do these these grills. I'll do them with a ruler and then white out for the... I know how I'll do this. Uh, but yeah, I have watched Manben and man, it's good. Um, it's really good. Naoki himself... He's such a such an accomplished artist, and the way they film it is so efficient. They're so Japanese <laughs> in the way they do things. It's great, great. Uh, one of my favorite episodes was with the guy who does the the detect the hitman thing. Uh, what's it called? Um, that was one of my favorite episodes that he does the eyebrows, puts a lot of effort into him drawing them directly. Uh, which one was it? Manben. It's one of the longest lasting manga ever. Longest lasting Hitman manga. Oh, uh, let's see what it's called. Gorgo. Golgo. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Golgo one, you really want to check it out. Uh, it's such a good episode. And he's so old and he's painting like he's so young. It's cool. Uh, Deepen is a different thing in these parts. Thanks. Uh, thank you for the stream. Iran, as always, you're the man. Thank you so much, Plumpy. Um, yeah, so Mr. Rainbow, I r highly recommend you check out the episode with Golgo. Uh, but yeah, this is it. I think we'll wrap it up for today. 
Um, I hope you enjoy this. A bit of a different thing, yes. Uh, inking. I just wanted to really get some work done on these pages. Um, so it was a good opportunity. Let me just show you this um, page I did. Yeah. This is the panel I did today. I finished drawing today. That was tough. That's a tough angle. Is crawling out of the uh, flipped vehicle. That was very tough um, with gun in hand. Uh, that was really hard. All of this page was challenging, uh, but you'll get to see it once it's out. Um, if you do want to kind of make sure that you see it, um, you can check out the first link in the description box. That's going to give you the, yes, go, go uh, 30, exactly. Um, Blade Runner original head you board. Yes, yeah, sorry, thank <laughs> you. Sorry, <laughs> I tried. I watched forty minutes in. It was so boring. Oh man, it was so slow. And I like, come on. I love the premise. I love the you know the general premise. I love it. Would have liked seeing it just told a different way. But I know it was revolutionary for the time and all of that. Uh, Bus Gus. That can let me full screen it. Uh, just tuning in live and direct. I give thanks. Uh, what's manga? I never heard it. It's just comic. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, Thunder Wolf. Thank you, everyone, for being here again. If you want to make sure that you get to watch to to um to read this, um, follow the first link. If you're into manga, if you're not into manga and comic, don't don't even bother. I know it's it's super niche, um, compared to watercolor, uh, in a way. At least on my channel, it's a niche. Uh, but check out the link first one in the description box to Webtoon. Um, once I post it, you'll see it there under my series, and I'll post an update there as well. And I'll post an update here, uh, letting you know. It took me about two weeks to finish eight pages. Um, so I guess we're looking at like two more weeks, maybe for everything, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, let's let's get a series out. Let's see how it goes. I really am curious to see how it goes and if people enjoy it. First time I'm writing a story that I'm actually gonna do something with and not just, you know, do tons of pages that aren't yet published. Uh, but I guess, thank you so much. I'm gonna have to move over there to stop the live stream. Oh no, I can actually do it from here, it's funny. Um, oh no, I'll do it from there. But thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next one. We'll do uh, another critique and another one of these um, uh, more usual live streams soon. I have a lot, I've saved everything you sent me and we'll, we'll definitely do that. Until then, take care. We'll talk to you again soon.